A brief hands-on with the new TV app for Apple TV. So Apple's new single interface TV app has started rolling out to beta tvOS users in the United States, and I wanted to check it out. So like a lot of tvOS apps, you'll find a top shelf related to the TV app here, and you can find your up next shows, so shows you've recently watched, and it'll give you quick access to those shows. Now inside the actual app, you'll see the watch nail section, which is really cool. You get this nice big artwork for the particular show in question. And this allows you to pick up right where you left off. So for instance, if you're watching a show, a Supergirl or Flash on your iPhone, you can pick up right where you left off here on your Apple TV and resume. Now, when you actually decide to play a video, it's going to open up in the native application for that particular app. So in this case, the CW app will open up because these are two CW shows. Um, but it's very seamless. The transition is even more seamless than it is on iOS devices, for instance. Um, you can go down below under the watch nail section and find additional shows if you wish to do so. And you can find where these particular episodes are hosted. So you can see here, this one is hosted on Hulu. Uh, so if you have the Hulu app installed, you'll be able to play that directly in Hulu from the TV interface. So it's very, very seamless. And I think that a lot of people are going to like this. Uh, it doesn't support every app right now. So like Netflix is sort of the obvious omission here. Uh, but a lot of apps are supported. And one such app is the CW app. So I'm going to play Legends of Tomorrow for the first time here. And you can see it opens up in the CW app. I'm going to exit out. And we're going to navigate back to the TV app interface. But if you want more information on these particular shows, you can, of course, scroll down on the show page and find details on those shows. Let's go back, though. And you can see because I just watched the show, the DC Legends of Tomorrow episode is right there in my up next section. And if I go all the way back to the home screen, you can see in the top shelf, the latest episode, DC Legends of Tomorrow. And I can, of course, play that episode right from the top shelf. You have your library inside the TV app, so you will find your TV shows and your movies that you've purchased from iTunes. You have a store section where you can go and buy episodes directly from iTunes, or you can find participating apps that will integrate directly inside the TV app. So CW Seed is one such app. I'm going to download that. I'm going to show you what the process looks like to integrate directly into the TV app here. So it's going to ask for my location. I'll allow that. And let's find a show that we want to watch. How about Justice League Doom? So I asked to watch that. And look what you see here. Share your CWC play data with Apple. So Apple's going to receive and store information about what you watch in this app. And this allows Apple to recommend to you movies and TV shows that you might like. And of course, you can always go into the settings app and reconfigure that if you wish. All right, so we started watching that show. And let's see if it appears in our top shelf here. And it does. So I can click on that, open up directly to CW Seed, and get to watching. So as you can see, even in this very early stage of the TV app, even though it just rolled out, it's fairly seamless and fairly evident where Apple is wanting to go with this. They want to basically um, aggregate all the TV shows and movies that you may like directly into the TV app and make it super easy. Basically a one-stop shop for most of your TV watching. Now, if you go to settings apps and go to TV, you can find what I talked about earlier, uh, the section that allows you to customize whether or not you wish to share your TV watching data, your play history, your play progress uh, with Apple, uh, because they do collect that information uh, to make this experience work well. You can, of course, opt out if you wish to do so. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a very high level look at the TV app for the Apple TV. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.